What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the first episode of a brand new campaign which was voted for many weeks ago. The country, or the nation, or protectorate, or principality, or whatever, the faction of Louisiana. It's going to be world domination, true world domination that I've decided I want to make. Um, I just want to do world dominations, I think it's more, more fun than turnover, than fairly short campaigns, like if I was fighting as Louisiana in a true in a normal world domination i'd probably just conquer most of america and that'd be it whereas i think it might be fun to be involved in a bit more places so we're a protectorate of france it's two starting regions up in lower louisiana and we're on hard hard difficulty and this will be an hour special so let's begin so previously there's been some discussion in the comments about what might be the hardest campaign in the game and it was a bit of a spar between what will be more difficult uh, the Knights of St. John or um, Louisiana. Now the Knights of St. John is giving me a pretty good run for my money at the moment but the main problem with, with the uh, with the Louisiana faction is that you have no actual cities. You have individual small, we have smaller cities that have individual buildings but no you have no villages to build schools and you have no major population center like this with all the different types of building to allow you to progress down the research tracks as you can see i have no no military buildings so i can't research any military technologies i can only go down the industrial and the philosophical tracks so there is a few uh, particular things you need to bear in mind with this campaign you're fighting against the native factions, which, if you remember, are actually pretty handy early on. Uh, they're pretty, pretty dangerous characters, really. You have they're very they're very accomplished in um, melee combat at close range, and without schools and without much much in the way of an army, they can. Close the, close the distance very quickly and cause you lots of problems. I'll likely be relying lots on cavalry in this early game. And something to continuously be aware of is the presence of the pirates. Now it's probably a bit, a bit premature in sending my armies away, but one thing I do want to do is to start slowly building up some fifth rates to expand my navy to help fight off the pirates because sure as sure as flies to to, to s star 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 they're gonna they're gonna make their way over here so let's do some fairly cheap upgrades at the moment let's get the roads going and then we also have a couple of uh resource exports so we've got a cotton plantation up here in louisiana which should be making its way to the adjacent province lower louisiana and making its way out for trade and it is um so we've also got down here uh, a meag yield sugar or coffee and it looks like sugar's the one to build so let's build sugar so we are a protectorate of france but we're quite a long distance away from our friends to the north we're also trading with Cherokee, so you've got to be careful that these guys don't ally, because if you then declare on one and they're allied to both of them, you've got a massive problem because you cannot cover all this territory. So let's see if we can get some trade trade routes first. And an absolute really good one, actually, if you come to think of it, is probably New Spain. Because you've got, you should have, I think, a a land trade route. I think. Nope, sadly not. It does go to the capital. If we take Texas, then um, it would become a land trade route, I would suppose. Um, <laughs> Spain. <laughs> New Spain's got their cross-eyed fella. So you can trade with the Iroquois if we want, or the Pueblo Nations. Let's trade with the Pueblo Nations. I mean, okay. So this is a land trade route. Um, they've got military access, but I don't really care about what they're going to do with that. Um, so I'm advancing my army up to the north because I am trading with the Confederacy, with the um, with the Cherokee. 
they are at war with Spain and the Pueblo Nations and the Pirates. That's probably why these guys wanted military access. So they could try and maybe go forward to attack the Cherokee. But I'm probably going to want to see if I can secure an alliance. Good. Because I want to have this southern flank protected were I to engage the Iroquois to the north. Because that's my most logical route of expansion. I want to maintain friendly with the Spanish. Um, if, I attack, if I protect myself against the Cherokee, that would be pretty handy. And it means we can push, focus our efforts north to knock out the Iroquois. And that was something I've picked up. I did look at um, uh, Mala's country guide, nation guide, campaign guide to Louisiana. And that was recommended as, as a good thing to do. And it seems to have worked. Because I have messed around with this campaign before and suffered when these two ally. And I've only got one army up here. And then the Cherokee just smash into my territory and take it. So we're getting roads being built. We're upgrading a new... Um, a new resource building, a new export trade building. Let's get a governor's residence because that's quite a cheap upgrade, only a thousand. We're probably going to upgrade um, New Orleans to get a military governor's barracks, which is an expensive upgrade, but it allows us to recruit um, colonial light cav, which is what we're going to need to counter the offensive or the actions of the, the Iroquois. Or the native factions in general, really. Now, one thing I didn't check actually was... Yes, we do get a unit of pikes. Good. That'd be very handy. So we want to group our troops up to Upper Louisiana. I'm keeping my priest at the boundary of these regions. At the boundary of the northern border of Lower Louisiana. So they still keep converting our population. But they'll then hop over and start to convert Upper Louisiana to help get rid of a bit of religious unrest. So we can't build any technologies. We can try to buy some off of the French because they are our, we are their protectorate. Um, awesome. Let's check our ministers. That's a bit of a funky uh, screen problem there. Our treasurer is great. Industrialist and fiscal genius. Well, this chap. Plus one treasury, plus one navy, plus one management, plus one management, minus one treasury, plus one army. You will probably be my new head of government to help increase the... Mainly it's the increase in town wealth per turn. But also the diplomatic relations boost is also very handy. So head of justice, plus one treasury, plus one navy. And minus 5% religious unrest. Navy guy is just a good navy guy. I don't want any more unhappiness from my lower classes. These guys must be twins. Because I've already got quite a lot of unhappiness, unhappiness at the moment. Plus one, management. Plus one happiness lower classes. That's pretty good. Plan for reform is unfortunate, but we don't have any. Plus one army. So it's plus five army with a bit of happiness for the lower classes. Okay, I might keep this guy because he's the minus one happiness there is cancelled out by the bon vivant. To be honest, I'm tempted to leave that as it is. Unfortunately, our head is frustratingly bad. Minus ten diplomatic relations a turn. See, we need this guy in here to help offset to the negative diplomacy of our faction leader. Cool, so let's hit enter. Uh, no, I'm not going to trade Jamaica for Upper Louisiana, even though it Had I not known what I know, maybe. But well, had I have I not had I not done what I've already done, maybe. But no. Um, I'm mildly concerned they're going to declare war on me and attack me. But because I'm a protector of France, then they'll just kick off a great war immediately. And I'm uh, I'm I'm not very happy about that pirate ship being sent west because they may. Use it as an opportunity to attack my trade routes. Which would be... I would be less than happy with. But we're going to start building ships. And hopefully we can try and knock out a few... Um, try and knock out a few enemy vessels. And capture them, hopefully. 
Although it looks like the pirates have already got their hands full. So let's keep our army pushing north. Spain, no provinces are at war. As are well. the Marathas and Portugal. Good, one more turn till roads, are, basic roads are built. It's probably get you buying another naval vessel. Because I've not really got much to spend the money on. I don't want militia and I don't want mounted auxiliary. I want what this guy can provide. Real infantry, coeur de bois and colonial lights. That's what I want. I don't want to trade with the Iroquois because I don't want to give them any money even though it doesn't really matter. Against the AI. And when I declare war on the Iroquois, critically I will not call the Cherokee in because I don't want to give them a reason to break their alliance with me. I want to be able I want to be at war with the Iroquois and still to be allied with the Cherokee. Because they do not want that southern flank to be opened. So I'm gonna to want to have my ships built and ready to defend although I might I might be dragging some weird shenanigans with the Cherokee against 13 colonies or with Spain um, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it because right now it's not as much of a problem okay one more turn and this region will be fully converted and you are now growing just well you're flat just but you're, how are your towns getting along your villages aren't growing neither are yours Ease off the taxes on the lower classes. Just to try and help kickstart things. So we've got basic roads. Can we build next tier? We can. So let's build those rows. We've got a first ship and let's build a third. Because we've got nothing else really to spend the money on just yet. Yeah, because that's our first fifth rate. Protecting trade to our friends in New Spain. Barber. I definitely read it's someone said pies in my passion. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Damn it. So let's let these guys recruit. I can't afford to wait too long, so I might just recruit some cavalry and then start to push, and then I'll keep feeding units northwards. I don't want to wait and let them build up their strength. Here come the pirates. See, if I had a... If I had my two ships, I would go and take that guy. Race-built galleon. Firepower, 154. Yeah, one for one, these are fairly evenly matched. I mean, a, 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 someone who's good at fighting naval battles would win, but I'd want two. I'd want two ships to fight that. So Lower Louisiana is now 100% Catholic. So let's ship our priest over the border. And actually, let's start him to walk up towards the border of Michigan. Ready to start converting these traps up here. And it turns out our priest is actually pretty good. Plus one zeal when converting uh, converts in America. So probably going to have to build this guy as a military governor's barracks as well because we're going to be a bit of a, on a bit of a war footing especially if we don't have any hey well connected mistress plus one treasury plus one justice for Baskin hook fortunately that's none of it's this guy in case this guy's actually going to be pretty good for justice Plus one management, plus one justice, and this guy is getting he's getting another plus one justice due to his well connected mistress. So fortunately people are gonna be a bit unhappy, but we're gonna have a great justice guy who is gonna cancel himself out due to repression bonuses. Awesome. Okay. Let's keep doing what we're doing. We're currently making lots of money because we're trading lots. Well we're trading a reasonable amount. See, if I wasn't the protector of France, I'd be concerned. But I am, so I'm not. 
And it's also unfortunate I can't build... Ooh, might better go capture that guy next turn. Especially as he's already damaged, it should be easy, fairly easy to take him out. No, don't... Oh, okay, that was two for two. Although it looks like you guys are going to make it three. Damn. You go up to the border. So let's see if we can buy any technologies from France. Offer 1500. Oh, come on. I mean, I may as well offer everything I've got for one. Offer. Yeah, offer. Two rand. Come on, how can... I guess the AI really doesn't want to give away tech. How about three? Well, I don't want to give away everything I've got, so I guess you can keep it. What has occurred to me, though, is it worth me just still building lots of militia to outnumber the enemy? There's another fifth rate. May as well build another... Yeah, see, almost all of our income's coming from trade, so we really do need to keep these trade regions open. And our roads are about to be finished, so we're going to start to get a real kick in the pants when it comes to our economy. French Navy is growing. I don't know where they're going to send their army. I'm surprised if it just went to North Africa. But it could be going anywhere. It could go to America. I don't know. But I do want to play the part as being a good Catholic nation for now. So no expanding into obviously Catholic territory yet until I become a power in my own right. And then I throw off the yoke of my mother country and I'll declare independence and say, screw you, France. I'm, I'm my own people now. <laughs> Nice one, pirates. I'll oh, stay somewhere I can see you. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I've got a gentleman. Right when I'll read... Okay. Chicago is about to be completed. Okay, let's start getting some cavalry together and sending them north. Let's keep our missionary driving we west, east... Start converting the population. So we've got some good roads, so we are getting a, re a little bit of tax growth. Only one a turn, which isn't very much. So let's get two cavalry. I might even want more cavalry than that. How much have I got here? Oh, provincial cav. two units of line as well to send up there then we will push i'd like to use my priest as a bit of a spy so i'm moving up to the border ready to convert we've lost our chance of taking niagara which is annoying but at least we've got to take michigan territory we may end up expanding as the huron maybe texas would be a reasonable shout as well it's not a very wealthy region but it gives us that direct trade route with new spain Oh, let's keep converting. Still can't buy any technologies. Trade agreement cancelled with France. But we're friends. That makes no sense. Um, okay, let's trade with... Trade with the Italian states. A good Catholic region. <laughs> they don't like me either. Where's Spain? Can't trade with Spain. I mean, I may as well just trade with the 13 colonies, but I don't really want to do that. Because they're going to be a future enemy. Because the, with the Marathas, may as well. If France doesn't want to trade with me. Unless they're going to come and attack me. Can they even do that? I mean, that'd be really weird. Oh, I meant to attack the pirates. Damn. But that'd be so weird if the French attacked me. 
If they did, I would just immediately restart. Like, the swine. You can't trust the AI. Ah, see, so they have gathered more troops. That's unfortunate. Their army from Michigan teleported west. But even then, that might give us the opportunity to push against the pirate regions rather than focusing in continental, continental US. Now you may as well stay here. Uh, one turn, I'll get you here. Still keep converting and keep line of sight. Still too far away from regions developing. That's the problem. Three grand for a basic tech. Fine. I'll pay your enemy. No, wait. Why would I do that? Spain. Two grand? Why? <laughs> I think I really don't get why they're so determined to not give away any tech. It's part of what makes me bitter against the AI. Because it makes me not want to cooperate with them at all. So I'm friendly with lots of the native factions. Bavaria, have you researched anything? No. The Ottomans. No. Portugal. Yeah, I mean... Oh, come on. I mean, I'm, it's 3,000. It's not, like, pennies. Fair enough. So, sorry, Cherokee. I'm definitely be looking to expand over in your area. Do you might wait for these cavalry to join up, then I'll just push against this region here, because I don't want them to expand any more than they already have to. Got another fifth rate. Just keep building up my fleet. That's the only thing I can really do. It would be handy if the French captured... Um, Amsterdam, because then that would make... That would kick out the United Provinces and it would also mean that... Curacao, I could capture, which has a town, which I could build a school there. Sailing away. You're going to go raid the French? Fine. That's what they get. Cancel trade with me. I don't care what happens. Good. Up Louisiana has been built. So that's upgraded their, government, their military building. So I'm probably just going to build this guy up into a governor's barracks because I don't really have much of a need for the income. So send these guys up here ready. But realistically, these guys can start to push. And I'll probably just upgrade this just to get. Although it doesn't give me any bonus to income, but then again, these aren't necessarily massively wealthy regions. I mean, I might just build it because I've got nothing else to build. And after this, I will have nothing else to build. Especially as no one wants to trade with me. Well, no one wants to trade knowledge with me. But it was, in some ways, it could be quite handy that they gave away Michigan. Or the, they, they traded away Michigan for the Venetians. I might try and see if I can get military access. Over to take over the last Iroquois territory. Hello, they've moved their army. The region may end up um, rebelling against them. If they've moved their garrison and they've got problems with morale or public order in their region, they may rebel. No, they're flat. Yes, sir. Move up to the border. What do you require of me? 
trouble is that Venetians will be quite happy with converting them. We're starting to sneak convert <laughs> the Cherokee. I mean, they're all quite happy, so it's probably not going to do much for me. Yeah, Curacao does have, unless I declare war on the United Provinces, to go take this region. The pirates don't have any towns I could actually utilise. Don't want to declare war on Spain. Could declare war on Britain, but then again they have no towns I can realistically make use of until later, when I declare on the 13 provinces. Um, Upper Louisiana is the only one that's developing, but still 45 turns away. Weirdly, the United Provinces might be the best idea. After taking over the Iroquois territory. But then again, let's check the Iroquois to make sure they're not going to screw us over with diplomacy problems. They're allied with Venice, so we might actually just steamroll straight up this coast. Ready and awaiting orders. Okay, let's build... Two skirmishers ready to move up with them. The infantry is ready to move. Let's declare war. Don't call in my allies. They've been joined by Venice. So this region, Niagara is able, is right for the taking, as is Cayuga. Cayuga does have a town which I can build into a school. So there goes that. There goes the immediate threat of having to push south. Okie dokie. Let's hit end turn. Unfortunately, we've done it without bringing in France. So France can't sneak in and take the one territory of the Iroquois that I actually want. Instead, they're going to be sat there watching as I gobble up their... Ha! Huh, so they've attacked me. Okie dokie, let's do this. So I want to deploy back, deploy my cavalry out wide and get ready to destroy them when they charge into melee combat. Because the problem is, is they are good in melee, but then again, lots of the enemy forces are archers. Deploy our militia out wide. Some auxiliary out on the flank. Deploy these guys behind the lines in places to support them in case they push in. Find the cover on the flanks. I thought that was a road. Um, light horse on the left, general on the centre. Boom. And I will want to do something like this to lure their bows out. There they are. It's their tribesmen at least. The bowmen are on the right. Okay, I've only got this on fast because there's no real point in being coy. Let's pivot. The lines being aware that there are bowmen out here. Two bows. Yeah, they're both garrison native bowmen. As soon as they hit range, within get within range. They're currently sat there just bouncing around charge this cavalry unit back because they're about to get swarmed by infantry. Come on. Escape. Come on, you're on horses. Just run out. Just run away from them. Hit their infantry. Mm, Can't we got 
you down there. So let's get ready to start to peel units. Always to bring units further out for support. These are yeah, these are bowmen that have come in now. So let's start to pull cavalry out. So don't want them to be in too much danger. Starting to charge into the center of my line. Understandable if my cavalry are out it, they are doing they are very unhappy. Let's see if we can commit my pikes. Let's get them into the action. Hope I can run down this native bow unit. You want to cut them down. The chief doesn't know where to run. Yeah, just keep chasing them down. Pikeman is going to run towards the general. goes up to engage the bowmen and the rest of my cavalry just start engaging. Yeah, the general would start engaging their infantry. Fortunately they don't know what to do with the general. So the other cavalry unit. I keep chasing them down. We almost killed them. Three dudes, two dudes, they're both over here. So run this cavalry unit back towards my pikes. So I want my pikes to engage the chief's bodyguard. I want my cavalry to make free with the enemy infantry. I use my cavalry to pin their general. Charge my pikes in to engage. Okay, we'll bring these guys back instead to go and engage them. Let's go kill this chap. Mm. 
If we can kill the general, there we go. It's the general's bodyguard unit destroyed. Good stuff. Absolutely continue. Get away. Yeah, there they go. But this poor unit. Surrounded by a whole bunch of cavalry. Awesome. Okay, let's specifically control one unit and let the other units do what they're going to do. You guys go. You guys stay over here and kill these guys. No, I guess you don't want to. It's dumb, but they're going to escape because of it. See? Oh well. At least there's only two of them. Close victory. It was a bit dodgy, but it wasn't close. Awesome. They fall back to the capital. We've got eyes on. Um, the next Venetian territory, so we'll have an idea if they're going to push through to us, but I don't think they will. So these guys, let's spend some cash on you guys, replenishing. You lay siege to the capital. Yeah, just maintain siege for now. Here comes some a unit of reinforcing armed tribesmen. Let's run you guys up there. You guys are going to take your time to get up there. But now is the time to start recruiting. Uh, let's not recruit anything, actually. Just keep money. Settlement besieged. Just keep uh, my money back to A, resupply these troops, and also to get ready to push east. And then we will also be able to link up with... We'll also be able to link up with, with the French territory. Like here, we'll open a border with Montreal. We've currently got good relations with the Huron, but we cannot trade with them, sadly. Yeah, first outing for our general. He's done good. And he's 30, so he should be around for a while. A fair fight enables the enemy to conduct attacks as ambushes. Enables the army to conduct attacks as skirmishes. That's a strange trait. I've not usually seen that. Okay, de Bois, I'm marching up. It's an end turn. So let's see. But that seemed to go pretty well. The Urukar are probably going to send some guys to um, raid our territory. We're going to march up. We're going to take Niagara. We're going to take the last Urukar region. And we're going to be very stretched out. So we're going to really need to develop our economy and pick our next target well. You guys settle down on With the edge of this territory here, converting them. It won't take long. Make March ready. you guys up to Go Theodore Mirabeau. Still replenishing. Uh, probably don't need to grow our navy any more than that. That's probably enough to deal with whatever pir pirate scum show up. None are conveniently close, ready for ambush, so... Just gonna let them stay the way they are. And I'm gonna keep. No, I was tempted to try and build something. So if we attack you. To be honest, let's just do it, because we've got we'll gain an extra turn. We've got well we've got two thousand coin we're not currently spending on anything, so we can use that to rebuild this region fairly quickly into something that will be more economically useful to us. If things go really well in this part. Well, no, it won't do it. It won't happen this part. I was wondering if we might actually just destroy the uh, Iroquois faction completely. So let's group our weak cavalry together as one unit. guys behind 
bit of a reserve, general back here. Stop, you guys stay doing what you're doing. So you want to push up, not too aggressively, because you don't want to come across a whole bunch of enemy units you can't even see. So let's run our cavalry around to try and get some eyes on enemy units, like these in this copse of units. These trees are also pretty dodgy. So let's push these guys up as well. Let's move our native musketry musketmen up because they can walk and stay hidden. You've got to be a bit cognizant of the fact that they will suddenly just run at you. And that was a misclick. Bodyguard. They will be sat somewhere in the trees. Well, they'll be sat somewhere waiting for us. It must be over here somewhere. Either way, we're in range, so we can we can burn powder. Oh, I thought we were in range anyway. Let's move these pikes up into the forest. their way around somewhere. They're not using they're not losing troops yet, so they've not been up to shenanigans in the trees. There they are. It's only a matter of time. You guys all smash this unit because they're all right there. There's two units right here. So all my cavalry are straight in. Focus on this unit of bowmen right here. Do not fire into the combat. Break away because it looks like starting to cause problems for my cavalry. So let's just retreat. Remember, we don't have to win. We don't have to slaughter them in this fight. We just have to survive. Well, we have to win overall, but you get my point. I don't have to chase down all these guys to make sure we win. Although I still might. Charge these bowmen with our pikes, because why not? into Let's bring this cavalry unit back. We get involved into the combat, I suppose, because why not? Involved in, it's kind of devolved into a big scrap. Bodyguards not 
done super well. As long as there's no our cavalry wavering. I don't mind us taking damage. Charge these guys through. Ah, it's one last unit. No, nope, they've routed. Sweet. Ah, let's just call it a win there. Our units are so depleted, any experience they do gain will just be wore down immediately, so I'm not that worried about it. Good. Let's reach his ass. Let's destroy the hunting grounds. Let's replenish our troops let's destroy there we go sound disappeared for a moment let's destroy these farms get ready to build them with proper western farms and let's build some roads let's get some growth back in these towns awesome so Michigan Territory secure So the next step is to keep building our troops and keep pushing through. First taking uh, this Venetian territory, then moving on to take Cayuga, the Iroquois capital. <laughs> yep, they're falling back pretty rapidly now. I think the United you know, Province has been destroyed because they've got We've lost um, Ceylon. So maybe... Did the French take him out? They have. They've been killed. The French did take him out. So we've got an opportunity now to also snap up. And then again, this will factor into my overall push into the Caribbean. Um, taking this region would be nice, but I don't mind France having it either. Because we're allies for now you guys replenish you can successfully and leave Michigan territory on. and just Onward. walk up for your and let's build some farms obviously they make no income to destroy to their buildings religious unrest did I successfully manage to ruin my plan Resting. I think I did I'll take a couple of turns to fix these Obviously, we can't research and tech despite me keep looking at it. Our Coeur de Bois are moving up. I don't mind the Spanish priest wandering around because it's all Catholicism, it's all the same to us. But we do have to play the diplomacy game very carefully. I suspect our first conflict will be up near the, Iro the Iroquois capital. And we may get called... Ooh, I don't like that. Because the Mughals are definitely the sorts that would attack us. Um, so, I think the conflict, the first real conflict I think we will get involved in will probably be against Britain. And it will be really bad. Because we'll take this territory here and then we've got a front line with the 13 colonies. I don't think we can avoid being called into war. So if I keep this guy here, he can get rid of the animism. So you push up. Okay, well, we'll still attack the, the region, and then we'll auto that, because that's a, supposed should have been an easy battle. Oh, shucks. Well, we're definitely not going to push on that. We're going to want to re reinforce our troops for sure. If they attack us, we'll. F Actually, I might even try to pull my army out. Might not work because we have no movement points left. Should really not have been quite so keen. Then we can also go and snap up. Send three ships. Let's go snap up this race-built galleon. Let's 
build up our fleet even more with three ships. Good. Group up. Line of stem. Foremost battle line. Fleur de Lis flying proudly. Yeah, he's, he's firing, supposedly, at that range. But three ships is a solid number to safely secure a capture of a sit capture of a uh, enemy enemy ship because you've got one that can engage in straight round shot battles and two more that can maneuver around prevent escape and dismass her so no race book gunning is not necessarily the best but they're the sort of ships i'd like to send drop anchor the sort of ships I would like to send to do the um, trading work because they aren't galleons at the end of the day so right now these guys are going to be engaged at long range with broadsides from my ships I don't mind not sailing because right now there's no real imperative so we're probably going to do this, actually. So this one on the rear, Sapphire. Okay, let's start to ungroup, do ungrouped ops. So this guy needs to pivot to maintain broadside or round shot position against the ship. Sapphire's firing round shot or chain shot into the masts. This guy will have reloaded. You go just you just hunker down. This ship is the one that needs to move around. Pretty ricky tick. You're probably gonna get around get a, uh, a broadside. Oh no. Liberator got the broadside. Pivot your guns if you're not gonna get your shots off with your Port side set of guns. Keep this guy turning just to keep firing. You could probably turn and get some shots off with Liberator before she hides behind the stern of Sapphire. There we go, another rolling broadside. You could probably fire a broad chain shot as well. little bit because right now I am just mainly focusing on trying to knock a mass down Sapphire should have a fairly good shot sadly nothing yet instead fire round shots to keep her on her toes Bizarre, you can switch to chain because she's setting more right at you. Uh, Sapphire's going to have her port guns or starboard no, port, right hand side guns reloaded. Point of engaging. I think that's one going. No, I thought that was. Can you spin around? Reveal your other set of guns. We're also coming in straight ahead. Pretty neat looking ship, actually, the race book. Can you switch to chain shot? She's coming right at you. Hussar will probably get some shots off. Well, with the chain shot, she successfully navigates the turn.
Come on, lock a mouse down. It's a long range, and they have got a couple of hits on the mast. There she goes. And she surrendered. Awesome. Why is the good? I must say, why is the battle not finished yet? Whew. Good. First successful acquisition of the Louisiana Navy. Get back to Fort Louis de la Mobile. Or Mobile. Don't rebuild anything because I'm more concerned about what's up here. Basic roads have been built. You've got some basic farms, so you're earning a bit of income. But we do probably want to fall back to reorganize and rebuild our strength because I have somewhat overextended up against the che up against the Iroquois because they're right there, but they've not decided to make a move. I think the Mughals must have decided to fall back. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Pirates have come back. Oh, please. Get into a position where I can abduct another one. Huh. They have. Yeah, so we're starting to... Our, our trade income is starting to be offset by the size of our armed forces now. Your Majesty. Bring you guys Onward. up. So we'll take a couple of turns to rebuild... Or to re rebuild our forces, but there's nothing for it. Because you haven't really got the cash to do much else. You've got basic roads. You're now happy. I mean, even if I exempt you from taxes, you don't. Your towns still aren't really growing, or at least nothing changes that allows them to grow. I could send these guys out to go take them. But considering I'm getting... Hey, it's the exact same name as well. No, but because my, my income's starting to go down, I'm tempted to actually not do that. I don't want to take any more... Oh, I might just trade with the 13 colonies. There's a bit more extra cash. 600 a turn. Spaniards have taken them out anyway. But yeah, I was going to try and abduct another ship, but I didn't. Considering my income per turn's going down, I didn't want to bring in the debt of more troops. If that makes sense, I didn't want to suffer the problems of having to run a navy even bigger. They've done it again. But one thing that has happened is the Iroquois... I don't know where their army's gone. But they've moved it away from the capital. Yes. Without further delay. You're 100% Catholic. Let's move our priest in to try and stir up dissent. That's going to stir up a lot of dissent. We're going to go from none to ten. Because we're going to convert all a thousand of their population in one go. Spend our remaining cash in upgrading our new territories. Awesome. Let's rebuild you guys. Let's hit and turn. Ideally, if we can maintain a a fairly peaceful stance on the continent, we might have some good opportunities to go and capture um, pirate regions. And then add more sugar plantations to our trade empire. Fortunately, the, Mar the Mughals are blocking our trade with the Marathas. So we can't really do anything about them. The Venetians are probably going to send an army against us. Just because. Yeah, they're going to send more ships within striking range of my armies. Of my navies, sorry. Nope, apparently they've resisted. Okay, so 
first on to build cheap roads in Niagara. I'm going to move these, this army out of Niagara. Forward. March. So I can request more troops. Because right now, they've got a full stack of guys. I need more Take cavalry. Ready. I just do. And there's not a lot I can do about it. So I'm going to hit one more in turn. I'm going to process... I don't know. I think I might just play this out just a little bit longer. Until um, I get into a, a more natural position to stop. Because right now I've just crossed over an hour of this part one. And I think things have gone really well. I wish I was trading with the French. But, you know, if they want to be tricky about it, they can be tricky about it. Like I said, they were the ones that council traded with me and I suspect they wanted to declare war on me because I'm their AI but their code doesn't allow them to declare war on a protectorate the fools good magistrate on Gonquin territory you're too far away to get these fur trapping this these furs out to export okay let's build Better roads. Let's keep the cavalry moving up. Because this is going to be awkward. Well, it's going to be difficult, I should say. Because that's a lot of troops. There's a lot of bowmen, I, I, I accept. My Lord. But I need more men. Honest. An honest man. I might even start to bring my agent up towards Niagara because it's this. We're going to put the. That's where we're going to put the um, school. I probably just need to spend a bunch of cash on just building the last few need the last few units I need which, to strengthen my forces, which is probably going to be all cavalry. I don't really think I'm going to want regular infantry. Infantry would be nice. I don't know. Or do I want infantry? That's the question. Because infantry is damn useful. And I'd rather have some cannons, but I can't get them. How far away are they? They're four turns away. Cavalry's three. My lord. Your majesty. So how many how much cavalry do I have? I'll have four units, really. Realistically, I do want just infantry. Just to, to be a bit more solid. So let's burn a few more turns. At the end of this part. Then I'll take Cayuga. And then... I think that would be... That would be a pretty successful first part. Things have gone quite well. For now, um, this is one of my campaigns and there's always scope for things to go horribly wrong and for the AI to be incredibly annoying. So let's spend spend our last bit of cash on recruiting some more line infantry just because line infantry is a nice it's just nice to have a, a base for your army a solid base yes, it's gonna take me a few turns to get up here due to the poor infrastructure yeah let's do that let's get some native auxiliary infantry to fight them when they charge in another unit of that's militia i don't want militia I'll get two of these guys. Two melee infantry to stand behind our lines in case they attack us. I've got a new royal heir. Yeah, I think I'll burn turns until I get an army to go lay siege to Cayuga. And then I won't actually attack them. I'll want them to attack me because I'm not insane. I mean, I could attack them and kill them in one turn. But if I can defend, that would probably be more advantageous to us. That's right, New Spain. Continue to convert the population. 
I'm surprised the Iroquois haven't tried to make peace, but I think they're just so angry that we've taken all their territory. They, there's not a lot they can really do. So I think one of the first techs I'll probably get when I get the school will be farming ones. Hey, I can build those right on the front line. You'll probably be farming techs because farming techs will allow me... Uh, well, I've got loads of farms and it means that I can grow some of these towns a lot faster than I currently can. Okay, so let's build that. Build you. Yep, yeah, native or auxiliary. One more turn. I should probably have moved my priest on probably into 13 colonies territory to start preparing the ground for when we eventually declare war on them. I don't want to declare war on them yet. I'd rather recruit a small army and go and attack the pirates. That would be my preference. Because trade is good, trade is bountiful, and trade allows us to expand. Pirates have actually gone full blown off into one of the trade theatres. See, so you're 100% Catholic, so let's just advance into Albany. A fairly basic army there as well. Ah, they've got their own priest here. Okay, let's move ours to Boston. Let's move our troops up. Move you up to him. Move you on to the next region can't spend any money so okie dokie hit and turn I suppose it really helps being a catholic region in the, Ameri in the americas because it means that you're not actually outnumbered you've got the spanish and the french are both on your side you're not britain where you can more or less more or less consider the rest of the entire continent or theater as an enemy which realistically it is. The 13 colonies is not helpful. When you're Great Britain, they just slowly wither and die. Sometimes I've had the United States be declared in the first three turns. You across Storm in, take Philadelphia, and then immediately lose it. Doki, here come La Piratas. Still doing their sneakish work. Awesome. Let's move you guys on. Lay siege. Don't attack, just lay siege. Well, I could, I could just attack them. Nah, no, I'll lay siege. I'll probably, yeah, build that. I'll end turn until they sally, and then I'll end the part there. So you guys, next episode, have got something good. You've got something good to, to, to kick off. It would be nice, actually. They're only... I'll only... Oh, damn it. They've moved their priest to counter me. Hey, they've sallied now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time in the next episode where we will fight the first of probably... A couple of battles in the final death of the Iroquois Confederacy. Cheers, everyone.